Hello everyone. Welcome to Software Testing Important Interview Question Manual Testing Series. This is the part 1. And don't miss to watch till the end and attend the quiz. So let's uh, begin. The first question is what is software testing? Software testing is a process of executing the application with the intent of finding the defects. As the definition says, it is mainly uh, intended to find the defects. Along with that, by comparing the actual behavior of the application against the expected behavior. So that is what leads us to find the defects. Software testing is also refers to validation and verification process that helps to evaluate whether the system is working according to the requirement of the business. And this process helps to justify the software on various aspects. Efficiency, completeness, accuracy and usability. So as per the a definition of software testing we will find the defects we will compare the actual result against the expected result okay and it helps to improve the efficiency completeness accuracy and usability of the software so let's go to the second question what is verification and validation verification is the process to ensure that whether we are building the product right to verify the requirement we, uh, so we have and to verify whether we are developing the product accordingly or not. So as the name suggests, we are just verifying. Verifying is nothing but are we building the product right. So before we build the product, we will have to check whether we are building the product right or not. And uh, examples for this is inspections or reviews or walkthroughs. These will help to make sure we will, we are, are we building the product right or not. And the next is validation. Validation is the process whether we are building the right product that is to validate the product we have developed is right or not. So, there is a slight difference between verification and validation. Verification means are we building the product right? But validation is when are we whether uh, whatever the product that we have built is the right product. So, that is the slight difference between verification and validation. So, example for this is testing of the software. Third question is what does testing mindset mean to you? What's your tester's mindset? So as a tester, what is your mindset? You have to answer in a way that as a tester, what are the things that processes in your mind? What are, as a tester, what things you will, um, you know, keep your eye on? First thing is critical thinking. Critical thinking is very much important. And having destructive mindset for the constructive product which means that having a mindset that you are have to have a critical thinking and all the uh, experience that you have with that you will put different different types of scenarios or test cases that you will validate that which actually builds the product destructive mindset for the constructive product Curious learning and exploring. So what is very much important, exploring by ourselves only makes us to learn a lot of things. Risk evaluation, good communication and analytical thinking. Analytical thinking is nothing but there is a problem. You have to solve that. So you have to find the problem and you also have to find the solution for it. That is what makes a lot of difference for uh, any product to be built, right? So if you provide some suggestion um, uh, or some, some of the inputs, that will actually help the team to build the right product, which is very much important as a QA. 
what do you know about accessibility testing so you might have heard about accessibility or might not have heard about accessibility but it is one of the question that can be commonly asked accessibility testing comes into picture when there is a need to verify whether the software is accessible to everybody including those with disabilities such as blind deaf mentally disabled and more so accessibility testing is done to make sure that the application that we have built is even usable to the people who are disabled suppose uh, in case of blind okay so there is a tool called nvda which is one of the popular tool so using that it will actually read out whatever the text is present on the um, screen so that will actually make them to listen and with that they will provide their input so that is how accessibility testing works next is what is the difference between qa and qc it is one of the common question that will be asked qa stands for quality assurance which gives assurance towards the quality whereas qc stands for quality control which ensures the quality of the product okay and qa is process oriented whereas qc is product specific okay qa is prevention of defects so with the qa we will prevent the defects as early as possible and whereas qc is detection of the defect once we get the product that that is where we will test it and then we will detect it and log it okay and qa belongs to verification whereas qc belongs to validation so these are the difference major difference between qa and qc next question is what is the use of decision table testing a decision table comprises of inputs and outputs in the same column okay only that the outputs come above and inputs are placed below them so also a decision table testing is used for testing systems for which the specification takes the cause effect combination or rules so I, as i it is mentioned here it looks something like this decision table looks like it has set of conditions and set of actions so and it also contains certain rules rule 1 rule 2 so it actually looks like this and the next question is what is the meaning of functional testing functional testing is a black box testing technique where the application's functionality is tested to come up with anticipated results by offering a specific input so majorly black box testing is a major type of functional testing so where we will check the functionality of the application the role of functional testing is not just to validate application's behavior but also to verify whether the application is stable to be released or not which means that whatever the application we are working on is it stable enough to be released to the production so that the real time users can work on or use it so that is what functional testing means define the important steps covered in functional testing let's see what are the steps that will be covered as part of functional testing understanding the requirement documents and resolving doubts as well as queries in the review of comments writing the test cases in regards to the requirement specification by keeping every scenario in mind writing the test case discovering the test inputs along with requesting the test data needed to execute the test cases and check the application's functionality comprehending the real outcomes according to the tested input values 
executing the test cases that understand whether the behavior of the application is as per the expectation or if any defects are there. So these are the major steps that are covered as part of functional testing. So these are the eight questions for part one. Stay tuned for part two and don't forget to answer the quiz.